Here is how to create an online course for System.io. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you are all doing great. And in this easy tutorial, I will showcase how to use System.io to create your very own uh, online course. Now this is going to be very easy and System.io does a very great job on making your life a lot easier using their platform. So. Uh, let's actually get to the video and uh, like talk about how to go ahead and actually create it. So to get started, obviously you'll need to sign up to your system IO, which is, is completely for free. Uh, and then if you want, you can just feel free to check out the plan just so you know how many courses you can create, uh, whether you're using the free version or startup, startup webinar or unlimited. Uh, and you can just, you know, choose a plan or if you're just starting out, you can just try out the free one. To actually go ahead and start creating your course, you will need to go ahead and navigate to products in here after you set up your settings and stuff. Uh, and then you will need to go ahead and click on courses. So in here is going to be the dashboard for your courses. Here you will find if you have uh, course bundles or if you want to check out the students that you have. Uh, and then we've got the actual one, which is the courses here. So here you will have the list of all the courses that you have created. And if you don't have any, you should find a page that is uh, or looks exactly like this. So to actually go ahead and create a new one, we will need to go ahead and click on add a new course. So we just click on that. And then in here, we will fill in uh, some information about the course. So uh, make sure that you have all the details ready, obviously. So the course title here is going to be the name of the course. So people are going to be seeing this. So make sure that everything that you write in here is going to be professional uh, and doesn't have any grammatical mistakes and things like that. Uh, so let's just name it uh, example course for the sake of this video. And then next, we've got instructor name here. Obviously, you will just go ahead and put your name in here. Um, so let's just go ahead and just do tutorial list or whatever it may be. OK, so language is going to be in which language the course. So let's just leave it at uh, English. And then in here, you can just type in your description. Uh, just feel free to uh, tell the people what this course is about and exactly what they will be getting with the course. So you can just enter the description in here. Okay, so we've got the course title, instructor name, language, and description. Next, we've got the domain. In here, you will need to go ahead and actually choose the domain that you want to use for the course. Now you can use the free one, which is given by system IO, or if you have uh, imported a different uh, domain, you can also use that uh, as well. If you have it, uh, if you don't find it here, you obviously will need to go ahead to settings and add it from there and it should show up in here in the list. So if you don't find it right, right now, you just go ahead, and go back out to settings and make sure you add it in here. But after you select your uh, course domain, you go ahead and add the path to the domain. Usually it's just going to be the same as the course title. So we can just use example course for the path. Now let's move on. In here is going to be the more customizable options as in the theme and colors. Uh, uh, not colors, it's, yeah, it's theme colors and fonts and so on. So we've got the theme. You can choose to change this so we can just make it like that uh, green, whatever it may be. And you can just test things out to your liking. Uh, so we can just go ahead and uh, do a dark screen. So let's just make it uh, with black and then the font. If you want to change it, you can change it in here or not, depending on what you want. So let me just leave it uh, like this. So obviously, if you have a specific branding font, you should go ahead and place it in here. So you've got now three pictures that you can use. The teacher's photo is going to be a photo of yourself, which is uh, you can you can skip this if you don't want to add a, an image. You can completely just ignore it and it's just not going to appear. So it's fine if you don't want to have your image in there. 
But if you do, you obviously go ahead, click upload and just upload your photo. Same goes for the logo and course cover. And they tell you the ratio and stuff. And then in here you can select uh, a sales page. So we can just keep it empty uh, for now. And I will tell you how to actually create uh, an entire funnel for this course. Next, you will have uh, show module titles for students, which is basically section titles. So whether you want to show them or not, is going to be completely up to you. Uh, I will leave it on. I will show you the uh, section titles. So I'll just leave this on. And if you want to uh, embed a uh, custom HTML code, you can just go ahead and uh, embed it over here. Once we are done in here, we can just go ahead and click on save. Uh, and we should find our first course here. Now, again, like I said, from this screen, you should find all the courses in here. But currently, we only have one. Uh, and we can just view it from here. So in here, you've got the options to view, uh, go to settings, duplicate and activate and so on. Uh, before we do that, what we can do is actually, actually like edit the course itself and create uh, the content, right? So to do so, you just go ahead and click on uh, the name of the course that you want to edit. So we just click on it. And then here we will find the settings and so on. So for the settings is going to be the exact same uh, steps that we found ourselves with. So if you want to change anything at any time, you can go ahead in here and change it. But let's just go back to courses, click on it. And in here, basically, we will add the module, which is going to be the sections. So let's actually add a module and give it a name. So let's just say it's an introduction to the course. So introduction. And then we just click on save. So this is module one, and we will need to go ahead and click on the down arrow to view the content. So we add a lecture or we add another module, but obviously we'll need to add a lecture. So just go ahead underneath any module that you have or section. I just like to call them sections. I don't know. I'm just used to it. So click under any section that you want to add a lecture to and just click on add lecture. And here you will need to name the lecture and give it a template. So uh, let's just name it intro uh, video, for example. Let's say my introduction has a video in it and I just want to showcase it for people uh, as an as an introduction, so I would just do intro video delay, keep it at zero. If you want to enable comments, you can just do that and have the delay. But let's just turn it off, and then we can just select a template. So I would just select this one. You can preview it as well, but let me just select it and click on save. And by the way, it is fully customizable, so you can just go ahead and change aspects to it. Um, like you're free to do whatever you want with it. So to actually edit things out, let's just go ahead and click on the um, the uh, lecture. And then in here, we will have the system IO editor, which is very, very excellent. It's a drag and drop, very easy to use. And it's just very simple and easy for everybody. So here uh, we, we can see the we've got the uh, video element, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, and you can change the video element by URL. So if you want to change the video, you just click on the video and it's going to give you the video options here. So the video type is going to be either a direct link. So if you want to link to a YouTube video, use this option and you can just enter the link in here. So you can just change the video type if you want. You can have custom embed or upload file. So you can actually upload a file from your computer, which is amazing. So in here, we can just go back to direct link, uh, direct link, for example, and then we can go ahead and set things up like the style, margin, uh, borders, if we want shadows and so on. So all of those are going to be fully customizable. So once we are done with this, we can go back and edit the rest of the elements. So for example, here, uh, we can edit this text to be whatever we want it to be. So we can just go ahead and delete the entirety of it and just type in hello or whatever it may be. And then to change stuff in it, we can just go ahead and select it, make it bold, change the color, or do a lot more like, you know, make it uh, italics, underline, and so on. And we can also link it to a specific uh, link if we want to. 
So you can do the same thing for the any text object that you can see. You can just click on it or double cl click on it. Just highlight it. Sorry. Uh, just highlight it and you can just change whatever you want to change in it. Or if you completely don't want it, you can just go ahead and hover over it and just click on delete. And by the way, feel free to move things around by just like dragging and dropping again. I say this. So you can just drag and drop whatever you want and it's going to actually just change it. So for example, I want this hello above here. You can see the blue line now. We can just drop it and it's going to be down there. You can remove sections, add sections. It's completely up to you. And if you want to add text above the video, just simply drag and drop. Sorry, you can just simply drag and drop the text and we can just go ahead and edit this dummy text to an actual um, like common sense text. So here's the intro video. And again, we can just make it bold to change the colors of its green for some reason. And yeah, just fully customize the entirety of this page and just go ahead. And once you are done and you're happy with it, feel free to click on save changes. Uh, and it's just going to change, uh, save, uh, it for you. And we can just go back to, uh, our courses. So now we've got a section and we've got to the intro video. So you can either add another lecture to the introduction section right here, or what we can do is add a new module or section. So, uh, we can just name it actual course or whatever you want to name this section. Uh, and here's the nice thing that we can use. So for example, now obviously we've got a new section, so we would want to add a lecture to it. Now what you can do uh, instead is if you create a specific uh, page and you like it, you can just go ahead and actually duplicate it uh, and just change the uh, content. So we just duplicate it and uh, it says copy intro video. We can just drag and drop it to the actual uh, next, uh, uh, section, sorry, my brain froze. So you can drag it and drop it to the next section or the same section and just edit a few things, uh, instead of the entire thing. So we can first, uh, go ahead and click on settings, give it a new name. So let's just do, um, example two. And if you want to enable comments, you can do so. So let me just click on save. You click on it and then you just edit things out. You just change the video. If you want to, you can just delete the video and just keep some of the text. That's something you can do, or you can just create a new one from scratch. It's going to be completely up to you. So you just keep doing this. So you just add the module, add uh, some lectures to it, and you add another module if you want, add more lectures to it and so on. And you should be done with creating your course. Now to create a funnel for it. Um, so basically we are done with the course. Uh, it is right here and then you can obviously activate it after we create the funnel for it. So to create a funnel, we just go to funnels here and we just go ahead and cl uh, click on create a funnel. So in doing that is going to give us, uh, give us this page. We will, we will name it, uh, the same name as the course or whatever you want. Uh, example two for course one, I don't know, just name it whatever you want and then give it a domain that you want to use it on. Uh, we can change the currency right now. So we can just use, uh, uh, you know what, let me just keep it a euro. Uh, and then we can go ahead and uh, select sell because it is a product. So we can just click on save. So it's going to give us uh, our list of funnels and we, we will just need to click on the one that we just create it. So this one, and then it's just going to give us a list of templates that we can use. Uh, and we can just change it uh, to our liking. So you can just use whichever template that you want, you can preview it. Uh, and then obviously just select it afterwards. So let's just select this one, for example. Uh, and now we've got the form that we can just change things to. So for example, the name of the form, you can just name it to whatever you want. So let me just keep it order form. Uh, and then we just give it a URL path, you can change this to a specific path. Again, I'm just going to keep it like that. And then we will go ahead and scroll down to the bottom where we find choose offer type, 
whether it's a physical or a digital product, it's a course, so digital. Um, and then we've got the resources, uh, price plans, and coupons. So for the resources, we just click on the plus icon and we go to select a source and then we select courses. And in here, we will obviously choose the course that we have just created. So we just select this and we will choose the course access type. So whether it's a full access, partial access or drip content, it usually is going to be full access unless it's otherwise. So feel free to choose whichever one suits uh, your course, but mostly it's full access. So they get full access once they purchase it. We click on that. And then if you want to grant access on a specific date, so if you want them to have the access after a specific date, so after this date, they will have access to it. Or if you want to add an expiration delay, so basically um, after a specific amount of time, uh, it will be expired and they will no longer be able to use it. So you can turn them on if you want to, if it's a subscription thing, you can turn them on. Uh, but usually just keep them off and just click on save if, since it's a one-time purchase. So we can just click on save and that should be done. And then you can also edit the page by just going in here, click, uh, click on edit page. And the same thing applies here. It's a drag and drop. Uh, nothing changes and nothing is too different. Drag and drop, change whatever you want. You can change the text a uh, similar way like we told you before. And everything is the same. And you can also, again, if we just go back, we can go ahead and afterwards adjust the thank you page. And again, choose a template and edit that template. And after we, we, are, we are finished with the funnels, uh, we have just created it and it's all good and done. We will go back to products, courses, and then we will simply just go ahead and click on the three dots and activate it. Oh, sorry. So we can just go to activate and make sure that it is activated and we should be good to go. So this is basically how to create a course within System.io. It's very simple and easy. Uh, just go ahead and try it out. It's uh, You can again sign up for System.io for free. So this is basically uh, the video for today. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.